Myers, what's going on? Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Thank you for watching. Hey, we're talking jet skis today. And in today's video, we are going to show you how to properly and safely replace a battery. And in this video, we are working on my mom and dad's 2003 Sea-Doo GTX. Let's take a look. All right, DIYers at the workstation now. And here it is, my mom and dad's 2003 Sea-Doo GTX in-house for the winter for DIY repair videos. And again, we are going to show you how to replace your battery. Batteries nowadays usually only last about three years. So in the event that you've had the same battery for about five years and you're having charging or battery issues, it might have been a good idea to replace that battery at three years. However, what we'll do next is remove the seats. As we make our way to the back of the jet ski to remove the aft seat, DIYers down below in the comment section as well as the description section will be a number of helpful DIY repair videos for your convenience, including this one. How to lubricate your latch to alleviate it from breaking. You'll notice you can't hear any screeching or squealing or any obnoxious sounds coming from this latch as I move it. And long story short, again, if you do not lubricate it, well, over time it becomes stiff and it ends up breaking. And if that happens to you, that link will be down below as well, how to replace a latch. And there it is. Check that out. Both seats are removed. It kind of has a different unique look to it, as you see. And there are the seats. And I'm going to carefully remove our little plastic storage insert there because I want to show you a sensor that we just replaced. That is your coolant temp sensor. So in the event that you're having temperature issues with your jet ski, well, it may be as simple as just replacing that sensor. And that link will be down below as well. In addition, if you have lack of acceleration, well, you might have a vacuum issue or a clog in your check valve. And those links are down below as well on how to replace those. However, to our battery, you can see on the left-hand side, our black negative cable is secured in by a Phillips screw. And the right-hand side is our positive red cable secured to the top portion of the battery with a Phillips screw. However, I'm going to hop to starboard side because I want to show you that little electrical switch right there. To starboard side, coming inside the hull, and here is our electrical switch. And as you can see, the battery icon is upright. It's not level. And that tells us this switch is in the off position. In the event that I turned it clockwise, I would turn that switch on and restore all electrical power to the battery and electrical system. And I will share with you the main reason why we installed that, because unfortunately, our battery kept going dead when we would leave and not run the jet ski for a few days. And that was very annoying. And if you run into that, well, it might be as easy and simple as just installing a switch like this. Because you might have what's called a parasitic draw on your electrical system. And what is that? That's basically a professional way of saying something is constantly draining your battery. Very annoying, right? So in our case, the switch is off. We are going to grab a Phillips screwdriver and remove both of those screws. With the camera positioned facing the battery, I'm going to grab again a Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to carefully remove the Phillips screw that secures the black negative cable to the battery. And as always, DIYers, do your absolute best not to drop any of these screws or bolts or nuts inside the hull. They might be in there forever until you remove the engine for an engine swap. And who knows if you have plans for that. And there is the first one. I'll shift the cable a little bit back. Now to the positive cable. And I will shift that down a little bit. Next, I need to remove this little cover here because I can't actually pull the battery out. I went ahead and grabbed a ratchet and socket with an extender. And in our case, this little bracket or mount is held in place by two half inch nuts, one on each side. And I will carefully loosen those up. Now to the starboard side nut. And DIYers, one of my pet peeves as I work on DIY projects is damaging something else in the process of replacing what I'm here to do. So be careful, be precise, be patient. Don't break anything or damage anything in the surrounding area as you replace your battery. From here, carefully remove the upper mount. 
And from here, we have this little strap, which makes it very easy and convenient to basically center this strap in the battery because it's looped underneath and around, and we can carefully pull the battery up and out. Now that we have the battery removed, it is a very good time to clean any and all debris, oil, bugs, cobwebs, water, etc. from down in that space. And as you can see, our little rubber holder is in pretty dry and good condition. Again, if yours is dirty, do yourself a favor and clean it. DIYers to the workbench, and again, we have been busy making repair videos to this jet ski. Brand new ignition coils. Brand new spark plugs, brand new wires. Here is our old start stop push button, wire harness and mechanism. There's the little cap. And here is our old battery we just removed. And for fun, we are going to test the voltage on it. With the camera repositioned, I've got my Craftsman voltmeter turned on down below in the comment section as well as the description section will be a link on where to purchase this. Having a voltmeter on hand is always a good thing. And again, just for fun, I'm going to test the voltage of our old battery. Red to positive. Black to negative. And I'm showing 9.3637. I'll let it go to zero. 9.3637. So obviously a bit low. From here, I'll remove this and the old battery and go grab the brand new battery. Here it is in the box. I will go ahead and carefully open it up. And right away I see some hardware, don't lose that. And there it is. Batteries are heavy, be careful, do not drop them. There it is out of the package or box. And you can see the plastic wrap around it. I will ever so carefully remove that without scraping, scratching, or damaging any portion of the battery. Again, be very careful. I've got my Craftsman utility knife. Do not scratch or harm the battery. Basically, I'm just going to get a little bit cut and peel it. From here, you've got these little plastic covers. Go ahead and carefully peel those up. And I'm going to remove the hardware and install them accordingly. And I've got two Phillips screws and two little threaded square nuts. And these will actually go into here, as shown here. And they will only go in one way because of the size of them. And what you'll do is when we insert the battery back inside the hull and secure the positive and negative cables, I'll do the same thing. I will rest the battery cables on top and use the brand new Phillips screws to secure it in place. And that little square threaded nut is what the screw grabs a hold of and tightens to. And you can see right here, in our case, we have these little plastic protective caps and they can actually lock in place in the down and closed position, which is pretty cool. I'll do the same for here. Insert the small little threaded square nut and close it. Next, I'll grab this little strap and I'm going to carefully Put the strap in position. And from here, I can pick it up, go back to the jet ski, and ever so carefully lower it back inside the hull. Do a close up view of the brand new battery. And you know what? I recommend actually testing the voltage of the brand new battery before you insert it in the jet ski. We'll do that now. And let's see what it is. Much better, look at that, 12.77, back down to zero. 12.77, that is a fully charged battery. Let's go ahead and install it. Back inside the jet ski and again, ever so carefully lower the battery in place. And it's a good idea before you lower the battery, make sure that your battery cables are not in the way where they will get pinched underneath the battery and once the battery is in place, I am going to carefully lower this little mount here. And same thing, do your best to not damage anything as you do this. And I might need to shift the battery just a little bit up. And I will 
will secure that with the half inch nuts and I am going to install brand new washers because unfortunately I did not have washers on it before. And I'll insert a washer again on each end. And now to the half inch nut and secure it. Do not cross thread this and be very careful not to drop the nut inside the hole as I mentioned. They'll be tough to find. You might not ever find it. Next, I'll re-secure the half inch nuts with the ratchet and socket. Now to the port side nut. From here, I will grab the red positive cable and re-secure that with our brand new Phillips screw. And again, you want to carefully push that square nut inside that little slot. And that is what the Phillips screw is going to be able to grab onto. And as always, do not cross thread this inside the nut. You want it tight, but do not over tighten it. Now to the black negative cable. After you secure both the red positive and black negative and they are tight, I am going to carefully lower this little plastic guard down and into place. There we go. And I will carefully shift the little boot up and DIYers from here. Double check everything inside. Make sure you're not leaving any tools inside the hull nor flashlights or anything else. Here we are starboard side coming back inside the jet ski hull. Again, double check everything and if all looks good, go ahead, in our case, restore electrical power by turning our switch to the counterclockwise position showed here. And from here, go ahead and resecure your seats and start your engine. DLRs, I will be very honest with you. I have been given the green light by the wife to bring the jet ski in the house for DIY repair videos for the winter, but I have not been given the green light to start the jet ski inside the house. For obvious reasons, right? Here we are port side, taking a step back DIYs. The seats are re-secured and the project is complete. And we hope this helps as always. And we're not done. Here is our very next video that we are going to be filming. This little protective pad here for the step where you put your foot and you grab a hold of right up here to pull yourself up on the jet ski. Well, look at the condition of that. Old, dry rotted, split, begging for replacement. We are going to replace it with a brand new pad. This is an OEM pad, so that'll be nice. Again, DIYers, we hope this helps. Do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon, click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell, that would be very helpful to us. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.